Hey y'all, so I know my car is shitty, but right now I'm just trying to figure out, I'm trying hard to get to work, but I forgot, I think I have fluid that actually freezes, so that did not help the situation at all. Shit that made me. What time is it? I don't know. Six minutes later than I wanted to leave, and I was already late. God damn. Now what happened was baby sprayed my car, which is awesome. She sprayed it with a. She sprayed with that Rain-X stuff. Stuff I got, but for some reason that that shit like I don't know. Like, that shit always, like, freeze over my car, so it's like, it get the snow away, but it's still freeze, so it really don't be helpful. And then I have my windshield wiper fluid that normally I would be like, okay, let's just wash the rest of it off, and we good, so it won't freeze. But, uh, then that shit freezes, I guess. Because I guess, well, what they should be, because I went, oh, no, this was at, uh, I got baby's car, her oil changed last night, and they asked me if I wanted the, the windshield wiper stuff that freeze, or if they want the stuff, I want the stuff that don't freeze. Obviously, I was like, give me the stuff that don't freeze. Like, why would you not? And, uh, he only put a little bit in. So I'm like, does baby shit freeze? Because in the summertime, they just give you the free shit if they don't ask because it's not winter. So her shit was full. It was probably full of the summertime shit, which means that she might be having the same problem I'm having. I don't know. She hasn't complained about it, but maybe her shit freezing too because mine is freezing because they never ask. In the summertime, they, don't, they never ask, like, do you want the one that'll freeze or not freeze. They only ask when it's winter time, but like my shit is still full of the summertime stuff, so. So I was just talking to my damn self, I guess. But uh, but yeah, I'm about to go to work now, y'all. I'm already a little bit late. I was complaining about the washer fluid. That shit pissed me off how they put freezer washer fluid in here. Gotta go to work for eight hours. I'm already late, so I gotta hurry up. Now I gotta go to my other job, change my shirt, go to my other job. But y'all be with me for that, but right now, I'm just about to kind of close out this little section. I'll see y'all in eight hours. Hey guys, happy Vlogmas! So, I don't know if, sorry, someone on the camera wins. I don't know if Babe told you guys that we are doing Vlogmas, but we are. We're gonna attempt to do Vlogmas because we're both so busy, but hopefully it works out for the best. Um, Anyways, sorry, this lady is like backing up and sh I don't really think she knows how to back up. Um, but anywho, I am at McDonald's because I was craving some coffee and Starbucks line was just ridiculous. And I'm going to get me some oatmeal because I love oatmeal and I'm starving because I've been up since like 530. I took like a little mini nap, but... Um, I don't know, babe. I think she probably did explain to you guys um, in the vlog before this that, you know, my sleep pattern is like all jacked the hell up. It's just ridiculous. But um, I am learning through, I've been going to therapy for some time now, through therapy and everything to stop blaming myself because that's what I do. The first thing that I do is I just go into um, blaming myself. So... I'm learning how not to do that. Um, so that's been um, ugh. holiday pie. What the hell is in a hot? I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. I'm sure you can because it's 360. Fucking holiday pie. They need to have two windows here. Okay, so I decided to record a little bit of footage of me eating <laughs> like which side is the camera okay they're both sided i forgot this is 360 camera of me getting my lunch and everything i am um thinking i'm gonna maybe do like a, a huge cleaning in like my um kitchen today or whatever after i like eat and t talk to molly and stuff i think i'm gonna do a huge cleaning because i'm supposed to be doing some cooking tutorials um on Sunday for babe to record for vlogmas and everything um I know I don't know if some of you guys know but 
I am in culinary school, but I've been cooking my whole life. My mom has had her own catering business, and I'm from the South and everything, so. But I'm, I'm actually in pastry school, but, you know, baking is my life. But, so I'm going to do a couple things, maybe Christmas holiday themed, um, of some, like, maybe some desserts and stuff. And I'll do a meal. Maybe I'll make, like, my famous salmon recipe for you guys. Um, I love fish, and I love salmon. So, I don't know. I'm going to come up with some ideas this weekend. and we're, Or, maybe I'll show you how to make... I have the idea. I'm going to show you how to make homemade tortilla chips. That'll be one of the videos. Because they're so super easy. Way better than any fucking store-bought tortilla chips. Stop buying store-bought tortilla chips. It's just added crap in there. Like, just unhealthiness. Added unhealthiness because of the preservatives and everything. And it just doesn't taste as good. Like, the reason they taste so good in, you know, your local Mexican restaurant is because they're fresh. They're freshly made and they're super damn easy. You only need two ingredients. Two. So I'll do a video on how to make those because I have some of my favorite homemade tortillas um, that I bought or whatever. Which is, these are these. Buy locally. They are local. So they're not, unless you're in, in um, Grand Rapids, we won't have them. Because they're local. I don't know if they're all around Michigan yet, but these are some of my favorite tortillas. They make awesome tortilla chips. I'm going to heat up my food. I'm not going to show you guys the refrigerator because it's ridiculous because we have all this leftover food and crap and Crystal is like she loves saving crap and I told her she, she needs to get over herself and stop that foolishness. So yeah, I'm going to do a thorough cleaning today. And maybe I'll do like a speed cleaning um, video and that will be something else Crystal can, you know, save too. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So, the reason I don't bake as much as I normally did because our kitchen is super, super duper small. We're going to move, um, even though Crystal's trying to talk us out of doing it because we're only going to be here after next year for um, another year, at, you know, after next year, yeah, another year and then we're moving um, to California. So, she's like, we should just stay here. But, I mean, they keep up in the rent, up in the rent, up in the rent. So, we're going to be paying this enormous price for rent. Yeah, we have we stay in a really good location. and our, But, this apartment is not up to date. So, it's just stupid to me. Because we could pay, what, $100 more for an up-to-date apartment. Instead of, basically, every year they're up and up and up and the, the rent on us. Which is what apartments do. And, I don't know why they do that when... You should actually lower the rent for your returning tenants. That's sh it's just so fucking stupid to me how they do that. Make sure nobody around judging me. Hey y'all, so I just got out of work now. And I'm about to go to my other job. So I'm about to hurry up and drive off because I'm a little bit later than I usually like to be. I'm like a minute, two minutes late, like behind my schedule, which I know I can make up on the highway. And I know if I'm like two, two, three minutes late to work, like. My boss. Well, sometimes he'd be tripping, but I'd be like, dude, look, I'm coming from another job, and I gotta fly all the way over here, and I cross this busy ass street before I even get on the express. So I'm sorry, I'm like five minutes late, but I'm literally leaving another job, so like, put me a little bit slack. I do need to like drop money on a lease, on a car lease. I can. I really don't want to though, because that's just if you think about it, that's like two hundred dollars a month. On top of like, I think you pay insurance. If you don't have to pay insurance, then that's litty because I pay like hundred for insurance now. So if they pay for your insurance and all I have to do is pay like the two hundred dollar a month, then that's what's up. But I don't think that's how leasing works. So they try to get all your fucking money. Guys, I have not did a damn thing. Um, I was on the phone with my best friend for four hours, and then what else? It took like a 20 minute nap. Then my sister called me. I was on the phone with her. So now I'm about to go over to my friend Sasha's house. I'm going to go hang out with her. And. Um, for. Until probably like 10 something. Maybe, I gotta see what time babe get off. Babe get off work. Because. Depends on what time she gets off. This dude must work a lot. He's never home in the daytime. He goes straight to bed every night. But he like keeps his damn blinds open. And hold on. Let me mount you guys. 
put on this wonderful man-made heat. Y'all like getting on a twisty tops tiny road trip. Question, question of the day. How many hours of sleep can you get? Like, it's a good amount of range for you. Can you thrive off in a day and you're not feeling tired and exhausted and, you know, just worn out? Comment. Um, because for me, I think my minimum that I can get is six. That's like my minimum, like my bare minimum that I can get. But this lane always is going so goddamn slow. So it's just funny, like, it's so funny because I like hearing other people's stories and stuff because I obviously am having some sleep issues that I haven't experienced before. Or maybe I have, I just don't remember it. I don't know what the freak is going on with me. But, you know, it's exhausting and it's just exasperating. And I need to stop saying, you know, stop, you know, speaking things into existence because I actually got sleep last night. I slept just fine. I just woke up and I just couldn't really go back to sleep. And that happens sometimes. Like, it happens. Like, my therapist tells me, stop always pointing the blame at yourself and being like, what did I do wrong? What? I, I, I. You know what I mean? So, it's okay. You don't have to take responsibility for something that's not for you to text from and something that's minor like okay you didn't go to sleep it's not not the end of the world and you know like you know what I mean so anywho these are just my random thoughts and rants and why are we going fucking 15 miles goddamn hour 15 miles right now An hour. Why? Like y'all, it, it, really? <laughs> Fucking Grand Rapids traffic. There's no traffic. They just created themselves. That, that should be their their walk on the welcome sign. There's no traffic. We create the traffic ourselves. Here, where the people like to go significantly under the speed limit for some reason hop on the expressway or you're supposed to get there a little quicker well you can't do this shit in, you can't do this shit in Chicago in Illinois you go get your ass ran the fuck over doing 55 even though the speed limit says 55 will get you into a nice you gonna be over in the field position crying somewhere Cause that shit is not accepted. Uh, I know you can't see shit because it's nighttime, but I just got out of work. My second shift of the day, and they hit me up at work like, what you doing after work? Or she's like, when you coming home? And I was like, I want to surprise her because I'm getting off early today. And I was like, 9.30. Like, I wanted, I didn't want to tell you, but since you asked, I ain't gonna lie to you. She's like, oh, okay, well, come on to my friend's house. Oh, no, she, she didn't even say that. She's like, oh, I'm just asking because I'm at a friend's house. So I'm just like, okay. Dang, we had 20, 50 seconds? Did we pass 44? Or maybe we're going the other way. See, I don't know where the hell I'm at right now. I'm GPSing this shit. I don't think we passed it because it would have told me. But, uh, but anyway, she was like, oh, I'm asking because I'm at a friend's house. And usually she asked when she comes straight home. And I was like, oh, okay, you want me to come through? Thinking she's going to say no. She was like, yeah, of course. I was like, what? Cause baby going to bed early as hell. She don't be trying to stay out. She be like, oh, baby, baby come on. Let me get my ass on. But not this time. So we about to go hang out and I'm going to see what they up to, what they doing. When I'm usually about to get a cold, I can tell I'm about to get a cold. I can feel it in my thorns. Don't oh, stop. Oh, we saw this movie together. Oh, look, this. This is the other one. Brand new. I haven't used it. Took the time. Okay, really? I don't understand people like you. Well, I guess if I just have money, I'll just be spending it. I want to close it. No, because I find it on sale. Like, that was, was like... But how do you not wear it, though? Because I thought I was going to like it, but then I didn't like it. See, how do people do that? 
A lot of women do that. I never, ever, ever in my life ever have bought something and then took it home and tried it on. I was like, mm-mm. You know what? But well, when it's on sale, if I don't sell, you can't return it. I know, but I never bought something like that like, like even later. I don't know. Like, I never have to return my clothes because I think all my clothes look good from the day I buy it to, like, forever. I know, but then sometimes I get really excited about buying clothes that are, like, with a price tag of, like, 80-some dollars, and then I'm buying for, like, $10. So you can be buying? No, I understand. Because you're like, this is a good deal. And then you be like, it was a good deal, but I don't really like the shirt. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> you haven't seen this dress on, and you think it's all women's. Oh, yeah. It is not all women's. I definitely seen an old woman wearing it. Huh? I definitely have seen an old woman wearing it kind of dress. This kind of dress, but not this one. That kind of is that dress. I actually got it in Amsterdam, and it was from a youth store. Thank you. You make the most dress real old and empty. Mm -hmm. It's cute helping. though, but it's like, it looks like you'll wear that to like inauguration or something. Yeah. Inauguration? Mm hmm Like, I can see Michelle Obama wearing it. Mm-hmm. Oh my really god. Really good. Oh, I hope they have me a nice dress. Yeah. I think you have to like, not be a hoe. Michelle's a hoe. Michelle is a hoe. She, I'm talking about my first lady later. Huh? She's a hoe for Obama. She is not your first lady anymore. Yes, she is. Melania is your first lady. Who? Melania or whatever. I don't like saying that name. It's not even me hating. I just don't like saying it. This is too much. It's too much. Man, you don't think that new Spike Lee show is like kind of weird and awkward? Yeah, but I like it. You like it? Does he direct everything like that? It's like a bootleg version of Insecure. <laughs>